Hey Scrappers, Tom here from the iScrap Map, and I have my three favorite Scrappers here with me if you want to introduce yourselves. Cameron, I'm eight years old. Olivia, six years old. What's your name? Two. You're two? What's your name? Mallory. Mallory. So guys, I want to show you, what do you all have in your hands? Let me see. Magnets. These are all magnets, right? And when we go and sort and, and sell metal, we need to see what the magnet sticks to. So let's do a couple tests right now. Let's do one at a time. Back up. Does a magnet stick to this? No. No? Okay, what, what do you think, what metal do you think Steel. this is? Steel. Steel? Yeah. Okay, this is aluminum. So a magnet will not stick like to this. aluminum. Look, like this? Some. Yeah. So the metals that the magnets will stick to, those are called ferrous metals. Can you say that? Ferrous metals. It kind of sounds like a ferrous wheel, but not really, right? It's not a ferrous wheel. Let's try to see if we can find one. Tell me if it sticks to this. Oh, uh, you stuck to each other. Yes, it does. It does. So this is a piece of steel. This is what is a ferrous metal. And it kind of looks like an F. It does kind of look like an F for ferrous. Now, what do you think this one is? Copper. Copper. Now, does it stick to the magnet? No. Copper. No, copper does no. not stick to a magnet. So the opposite of ferrous is non-ferrous. This is called a non-ferrous metal. Now, let's take another one that kind of looks the same. It looks like gold. It looks, it looks like, like gold. gold. But I think it's brass. You think it's brass? Because on that, no one would have a real big piece of gold like that. Well, you're right. This is brass. And does this stick to the metal, the magnet? And no, it does two not. Are the same. Now, if you look at these two metals, they kind of, you know, they're, they're a little bit the same, but a little bit different. But I want to show you this. Watch this one. What about this one? What metal do you think this is? Brass. So this, we're gonna, this is not steel, it would stick to the magnet. Brass. So we're gonna use something called a file. You know like when we file our nails at home? We're gonna file this and watch what happens when you really get in it. Filing is another way of saying we're gonna scratch it. And watch what happens. You see that? What color is that now? It's copper. It's copper. So we so always have to, yeah, so it looks the same. So this is a piece of <laughs> copper. And in this bag, we have other, in this box, we have other types of metals. Look at these two. They look kind of close, right? Oh, this is metal. Let her out. Those are some mine. That is, me yep, that is steel. And you see how it's stick to a magnet? Now try to have another magnet on this. What happens when you put it on? No, no. Does it stick? Watch. Oh, well, let me see on this piece. <gasps> see how it's stuck? And that's what happens. So when we have recycling at the different scrap yards, we want to look for things that stick to a magnet so we can sort them. And then we want to look for things that don't stick to a magnet. And the things that don't stick normally are worth more money. And that's one of the lessons we learn about recycling, okay? Any questions? No. All right. Well, hey, do you know what I always say at the end of the videos? What? I'll scrap you later. I'll scrap you later.